Welcome to Cars in Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia Cars and KDM. Today I have KGM, KG Mobility's Taurus EVX as you saw from the thumbnail, but I have a side-by-side -side comparison with the Taurus EVX to that of the internal combustion engine Taurus right next to it side by side. I actually have gone through in-depth review of both cars. I actually covered the EVX today. In terms of the test drive, I do have the in-depth thorough review, both the interior, exterior, and the POV drive of the internal combustion engine Taurus back in Jeju, where I had a lot of fun with it. It's a great car all throughout, but I, since I have the cars side by side, of course, I cannot miss the opportunity to give you the comparison video and let's get into it right away. For your information, the difference between the license plate color is because here in Korea, when cars are EV, meaning 100% electric, they get this blue license plate. It's easier to differentiate. I am standing right behind the Taurus EVX, so you can see that the taillights are different right off the bat, right? They are actually the same hardware in terms of the exterior sizes and the design all throughout. However, what composes assembly, the light itself, we can see that it has the LED lights all throughout and each of them actually is all carved in like this. I can actually stick my finger in and it lights up beautifully. And when the lights are not lit up, this turn signal portion is also red, which is kind of hard to see and find in Korean cars, but Taurus EVX gets it. And of course, when it lights up, the turn signal lights up, it becomes into amber. So the difference is the tail light immediately, as you can see, and the remaining, the rest of the parts actually do remain almost identical because essentially the Taurus EVX is just the same chassis but it has the motors and batteries inside. That being said, they do have a very distinctive and different ground clearance. So you can see that the ground clearance on this one is much lower than the internal combustion engines. And I am holding my GoPro on the same level so you can actually get a good idea of comparison in terms of the ground clearance. So yes, it is actually much lower but it actually is one of the highest in its category being the EV SUV. That actually is also one of the selling points on this KGM Taurus EVX, in fact. The diffuser also has a bit of a different shape and design. It is mostly because of this car being a facelift versus pre-facelift, so that is the reason why. And yes, the lights, the rear tail lights, they only have the brakes and turn signal, that's it. The reverse light is actually located right here with the reflector being over there. However, for internal combustion engine, the reflector is all alone over there, the turn signal and the reverse lights. So that's how it is. The wheels, of course, the different design for the internal combustion engine has the same wheel setup though, in terms of the brakes, the rotors and discs. So that is what we have for the EVX. And you can see uh, the remaining of the door panel, all the design, the C quarter glass, even the shape of the design glasses, the D quarter glass right here, it is all same, no doubt even the roof rails on top the shark antenna everything remains the same the third brake light as well let me give you a quick profile as well once again for your information i do have in-depth review of each car on my channel so please feel free to check it out but i just did want to give you a side-by-side -side comparison just like that you see the front when it comes to the front there is actually a lot of difference the front looks much different for the Taurus evx right here with a brand new horizontal drl which also has the welcome ceremony and the headlight is now splitted and is located underneath right over there. Whereas this Taurus internal combustion engine, that's the DRL, has the vertical grills as you can see, and that is just the fog light and the headlamp is over there. And we don't have the red accent, that kind of a tow hook kind of a design that we used to have on the ice anymore. And we can see that the radiator grill and opening, the front grill opening is much larger on the internal combustion engine model versus we only have that tiny part underneath for the EVX. So that's it for today's quick video of giving you a side-by-side -side comparison of the Taurus EVX versus the Taurus internal combustion engine model. Do not forget to like and subscribe Car Scene Korea if you did, and I will see you 
in the next video. Hopefully with your support and help and a lot of likes and comments on KGM, KG Mobility, I might get sponsorships in the next future where I can bring you the latest information, updates, videos on the KGM. Thank you for your support in advance and I will see you in the next video. Bye. I really love the lights on the EVX by the way. Awesome.